My friend Todd Banner, a local photographer and videographer I know, interviewed me for his YouTube channel. One of several questions he asked was how to plan a trip quickly given uncertain times. I share my answers here. To see the entire interview, check out and subscribe to his channel or catch some of the mini segments on mine. Given this uncertainty, what are tips for planning travel that might not even happen? Well, I, as I mentioned, trip insurance for sure. You know, if you've never bought it before, it's a couple extra hundred dollars. You know, when you're contemplating your travel, you want to budget that into what your spend is, which also then transitions me to talk about budget. When you are planning travel, really understand what you're willing to spend because if you have that idea of what you want to spend right off the bat, that will help you focus on where you want to go, what you want to do, how long that trip is, and then you can really save a lot of time travel planning. The other thing is that I think a lot of us are finding me included that I'm, travel, I'm planning travel really far closer to the actual date of departure than I ever did in years past. Uh, we are going to New Orleans as a family during a school break and I booked the trip maybe two weeks ago and the trip is happening in less than two weeks. I think in most years past, pre-2020, uh, pre I uh, would have booked trips months in advance, you know, anticipated them, been excited about them, but now it's just, you know, it's kind of wait and see, you know, am I comfortable having this trip happen and, and uh, you know, I'm booking it closer to the actual date. So with that in mind, I think it's also important to have some tips on how do you plan this travel quickly is that, you know, the trip's coming up so fast and you have to book your airfare, your hotel, your lodging, your activities. And my number one tip for people who are in that situation is um, go to Google Travel. Um, go ahead and search for it online. You'll find the Google Travel homepage. And uh, it's Google has a suite of travel tools that are absolutely free and incredibly powerful. And I think under the radar, a lot of people don't know about them. And uh, if you're not sure where to go and you have a trip and you have some dates coming up, the number one tool that I recommend using is Google Explore. And uh, for users of Google Flights, they'll recognize Google Explorer because it's essentially a tool that sits on top of Google Flights. And it allows users who use Google Explorer to do an open-ended search from their origin city um, to any destination, not only in the United States, but throughout the world to see where they could go for either specific dates or for open-ended dates. For example, a week trip um, somewhere in the next six months. So it's a very powerful tool. So for example, I can put in the dates for a trip in April for a month from Chicago, my hometown, and just see where I can fly to and I can pick the more affordable rates that meet my travel budget. Google Explorer also did something really cool in the last year is they did an update to the tool that, uh, that uh, not only shows flights and destinations with airports, but flying and, drying com uh, flying and driving combinations. So it could be that uh, you're going to a national park and Google Explorer will list that as one of your open-ended options from your origin city as a trip option. So it's incredibly powerful. I've discovered new places to go to. One year we were considering a spring break trip to Utah, getting tickets to Salt Lake City. I used Google Explorer and saw tickets to Rome were only $50 more per person. And uh, and guess what? We, we planned the trip to Italy. Actually, it didn't happen. That was supposed to be spring of 2020, but we're trying to resurrect that this year. So um, it's really, it's a great option in addition to Google Explore. There's Google Hotels. I've done some YouTube videos about some of my favorite hidden buttons on Google Hotels that save me a lot of time. Plus there's even Google things to do. And um, all of those will help find activities hotels, lodging, everything that you need for a trip very quickly. So if you're in a situation you're a few weeks out and you need to plan something, those will help. In addition, just Google searches. Um, for the non-Pinterest users, uh, Pinterest is a wonderful resource for things to do and uh, activities for any destination that cuts through a lot of the paid advertising. And I find that's a really good way to get to what the travel bloggers and people who have actually been to those locations with very little to sell um, have some great ideas and recommendations and itineraries for the trip coming up.